It's sad. Concerned drivers like Derek are on high alert after the latest interstate shooting. It's, it's scary, you know, because that's somebody's kid, that's somebody's brother, that's somebody's father, somebody's sister. Take a look at this dash cam video of the scene on eastbound I-264 near Military Highway Saturday. The victim was shot at by an unknown car. When it gets hot, it gets hot. And what I mean by the second gets hot means that shootings, murders, killings, and all that things of nature just starts, starts happening. Saturday's shooting is one of seven shootings that have taken place on local interstates and highways since June 1st. This all living truck drivers like Rodney, who often travel on I-264, feeling helpless. I try to be careful, you know, uh, especially in the dump truck. They get real upset about that because we take up a lot of space and I get the bird thrown at me all the time. As of now, no arrests have been made related to these shootings. I think eventually some people are going to be caught who have done these crimes. This isn't just a problem in Hampton Roads. According to research by every town, a person was shot, injured, or killed in a road rage incident every 17 hours just last year. We do not want to see um, that number increase, um, and we'd like to have these situations just be squashed. The recent activity is leading AAA tie water to get the word out on what people should do and what not to do when it comes to dealing with road rage. Just keep your eyes forward. Don't make eye contact. Um, don't acknowledge them so that um, and that can help the situation not progress further than it may have if you engage otherwise. I asked Virginia State Police, does Saturday shooting appear to be a random incident or are they connected to previous interstate shootings from this summer? But they did not give comment because they say it's still an active investigation. One driver's plea to state police. Y'all gotta come up with some, some type of strategy to, to knock these numbers down. It's just, it's sad. In Norfolk, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.